welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa and welcome to another What I Eat In A Day video. This is my very first video like this for 2019. Really excited to have you here today because we are gonna be talking all about how you can nourish yourself from the inside out. So for me personally, I got a little bit off track through the holidays and it definitely caused some issues with my digestion, bloating and all that stuff that's really uncomfortable and not so fun. So I personally am focusing a lot on nourishing myself, nourishing my gut in 2019, and today's recipes are all about doing that. I'm also gonna be partnering with my friends at Four Sigmatic, and I'm going to be sharing how I incorporate a lot of their products into my daily life, how I use them, why I love them. So make sure to click the link that is down below. That will get you 15% off your order from Four Sigmatic. They have literally everything, everything from matcha, hot chocolate, blends. I love their products so much, and I can't wait to share how to use them. So you saw how I started my morning. I started with a ginger lemon water, some snuggles with my dog, then I went to a hot yoga class, and now I am home, showered, ready for the day, and I am so hungry. So I'm gonna be making a smoothie bowl, surprise, surprise. If you've seen any of my other What I Eat In A Day videos, you know I love my smoothie bowls. So I'm going to be making a smoothie bowl with spinach and a ton of other really good nourishing ingredients, and I'm also gonna be showing you one of my favorite Four Sigmatic products that I add into my smoothies. And I'm gonna insert a clip right here that is gonna show you how I steam and freeze my zucchini. So one of the ways that I reduce my sugar in the smoothies is by using either frozen cauliflower or frozen zucchini. And I'm gonna show you right now how you can freeze, steam and freeze zucchini for your smoothies. So the first thing we're gonna do is chop up the zucchini. I like to chop off the ends and then cut a long slice lengthwise and then cut it into half lengthwise again and then cut it into chunks. And once you've cut up all of the zucchini that you're gonna be using, you can just transfer all of those chunks. You can kind of see they're like bite-sized pieces into a pot that has a steamer basket in it and just fill it up as much as you want. Make sure that there's a little bit of water on the bottom and then turn your stove to medium high heat and then cover it with a top and then let it steam for maybe five to six minutes until the zucchini is nice and tender. And you can see here it's nice nice and cooked, it's soft, that's gonna make it a lot easier to digest on your system. And then you have to let, make sure that you let this cool completely before you transfer it into any sort of sealed container. And then I transfer it into one of my silicone bags that I have, this is a stasher bag, and I just put it all in there, and then I lay it flat in my freezer and let it freeze flat, and then I kind of break them up a little bit when I'm ready to use them. All right, so now that you saw how to do that, let's go ahead and get into this smoothie recipe. I can't wait for breakfast. So before we make our smoothie, I actually have to show you the matcha because I always make matcha before my smoothies. So I'm using Four Sigmatic's Mushroom Matcha Latte today. It has maitake mushrooms in it, and I love this matcha mix. It's so good. It's in really handy little packets, so I actually travel with these constantly, and then I never have to worry about finding somewhere that has matcha. So to make the matcha, I just use one packet of the mushroom matcha mix, and then I also add in some sweetener as well as some pumpkin pie spice and my coconut butter. You could add other adaptogen powders if you wanted, but it has mushrooms in it, so I'm happy with that. And then I top it with my hot water, blend it up on my blender until it's smooth and creamy. I always like showing you guys the foam because this is why I love making hot beverages in my blender because it's so creamy and frothy, it's amazing. And then I just pour it into my mug and enjoy. So for the smoothie, we're gonna start with two giant handfuls of spinach, and I just kind of push it down in my blender, and then we're gonna top that with some vanilla protein powder, and then the product that I'm using from Four Sigmatic is their superfood blend. It's a blend of 10 different mushrooms, and I think this is a great starter option for people who are just getting into medicinal mushrooms because it contains so many amazing mushrooms, and it's a really great an easy way to add them into your diet. So you can just add a scoop into your smoothies or your matchas, your coffees, whatever you wanna do. And then I'm gonna to top this with some of that frozen zucchini as well as some frozen raspberries and some frozen blueberries. Normally I add raw cacao, but I didn't have any, so I didn't do that. And then my liquids are a blend of coconut water and regular water. And then I just blend it up until it's smooth and creamy. And the color that you're seeing here, I don't know why, but my camera doesn't quite capture what it actually is. It's a lot more pink than it shows here. It just looks kind of like brown and not appetizing, but it was really good. And I topped it with some mulberries, some granola, and some peanut butter, which is like my standard topping. And I love me a good smoothie bowl. 
Okay, we're back. It's lunchtime. I've been working for the last couple hours. I am currently drinking a kombucha. And it's a ginger turmeric kombucha. It's actually pretty good. I don't really like turmeric and this is actually pretty good. But we are about to make some lunch and I am craving toast. I don't know why, but sometimes I just love having toast as my meal. So I'm going to make two slices of toast. I think I'm gonna do one with like some sort of avocado something. And then I have some mushrooms in my fridge that I think I'm just gonna like saute quickly with some spices. And then I'll probably use hummus for my protein. And what I love about toast is that they are so easy to make, like literally takes about five minutes to make. You can make them for dinner. You can basically add whatever you want. So I am going to flip you around and show you how I'm making my toast. So the first thing we're gonna do is make our mushroom toast and I took one box of mushrooms, removed the stems, washed them, and then I thinly sliced them. And we're gonna saute these in a little bit of olive oil. So you can just drizzle the olive oil in your pan, add in your mushrooms, and then start to saute them. Once they start to release the juices, you can add in some spices. So I'm using garlic powder, a pinch of sea salt, and some dried rosemary. It also would be really good with fresh rosemary, I just didn't have any. And just again, stir it all together until your mushrooms have sauteed and the liquid has been absorbed but if it's not just make sure you drain it before you add it to your toast this should take like five minutes or so for them to get nice and soft and sauteed from there we're gonna make our toast so I have two slices of my favorite gluten-free sprouted toast and I spread it with about two tablespoons each of just plain hummus and for the mushroom one so easy I just added the sauteed mushrooms on top of my toast and that was it I sprinkled it with a little bit of chopped up herbs but so simple and actually really really delicious and then for the other one, I did some sprouts on the bottom and then I topped that with some sliced avocado as well as some hemp seeds, pepper, lemon zest, and some red pepper flakes. And I really, guys, loved this lunch. It was so good, it was so easy. And I just, there's something about toast that is just so comforting to me and it just tasted delicious. So I hope you guys try these. All right, so I am about to have dinner, and I actually made the recipe earlier today. It's going to be up on my blog next week, so um, as you're watching this, I will make sure to update the description box afterwards with the recipe link, but made it for the blog, so I already have it prepared. I'm going to insert all of those clips so that you can see what goes into it and what I made, um, and then I guess I'll show you me eating it because I know you guys like that, um, and then after dinner, I'm definitely going to be having a hot chocolate it's like my favorite way to wind down after a busy day I just love Four Sigmatic's reishi hot chocolate it tastes so good and it's like full of reishi which is a really chilling relaxing herb and it's just a great thing to have at the end of the day so we're definitely gonna be making that post dinner and I think that's all I have for you right now so let's go ahead and flip you around and show you my yummy dinner salad so the dinner salad tonight is really, really simple. It's just a blend of cooked quinoa as well as some steamed green beans. These are actually just frozen green beans that I let thaw in a pan. You could also use fresh and steamed. And then I also sauteed some kale really quickly, basically just steamed some kale and that was the base. And then we made a really quick and easy herb dressing which has almond milk, cilantro, garlic, lime, chia seeds, tahini, salt, pepper, and a little bit of pepper flakes. Blend it up in the blender until it's smooth and creamy. Really, really delicious. Also makes a really great veggie dip if you wanted to like have a little snack on the side. It's really good, so save the leftovers. <laughs> and then we're also adding in some cooked black lentils. So here is all of the salad ingredients. Basically, you just drizzle it with your dressing and toss it all together to combine. I also think after I tasted this, this would be really good with some pumpkin seeds or sunflower seeds. Some sort of crunch would really help give it a little bit more texture I really liked the flavor of it and just it's really delicious as is and you'll see it on the blog soon but if you did want to add a little bit of texture or crunch you could add in one of those nuts or seeds and then to serve it I just topped it with some avocado a little bit more chia seeds some pepper and some red pepper flakes and it was so filling so good and a really gentle thing on your gut because everything is cooked and it's nice and easy to digest and then like I mentioned, I am ending my day with a Four Sigmatic mushroom hot cocoa. I am using the one that has reishi mushrooms in it. Like I mentioned, reishi is really great for relaxing at night. And I find that this does not keep me up at all. So I love having this before bed. It also has some cinnamon in it, which is really nice. And it just tastes so good. 
So to make it, you're just going to add one packet of the mushroom cacao mix into your blender. And you could actually also do this with like a little handheld, one of those uh, handheld aerator things. They're like a electric whisk whisker, I guess. I don't know what you call them, but you could use one of those. Um, and then you're also going to add in some monk fruit extract to sweeten or whatever sweetener you like as well as some coconut butter for that nice creaminess. I love healthy fats in my drinks. I also add in a splash of nut milk. I used some cashew milk there and then top it all off with some hot water. And then again, just blend it up just like matcha. You're basically making a matcha, but with hot chocolate and you just blend it up until it's smooth and creamy. You're gonna get that same amount of foam, which I love. And then you can just pour it into your glass and it's such a treat, it's so healthy. Like I said, it's not gonna keep you up at night and I think it just tastes so good. It's like one of my favorite ways to wind down at the end of the day, especially after a kind of stressful day, which today was. So this is really, really a great treat. All right, friends, that does it for the day. I hope you enjoyed today's What I Eat in a Day video. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, you can pop them down in the comment box below. I also wanna thank Four Sigmatic for joining us in today's video. Don't forget that you can get 15% off your order if you click the link that is in the description box. I love their matcha, I love their hot chocolate, I love their chai, and I think that mushroom blend, the superfood blend, is a really great intro product if you've never tried medicinal mushrooms. So, highly recommend them. You can actually hop on over to their website and you can check out what they offer. You can filter by what you're looking for. Maybe it's the type of feeling that you want, energy, chilling. Maybe you want matcha, maybe you want coffee. You name it, they can filter it and you can find exactly what you're looking for in terms of products. So thank you so much to Four Sigmatic. Thank you guys for joining me. I really appreciate you watching and tuning in. Like I said, don't forget to ask all of your questions, anything like that, down in the comment box. I've linked any recipes that I mentioned in the description box as well. And I'll also link the What I Eat in a Day playlist for you so you can check out more of those videos. Otherwise, I think that's all I have. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.